let's 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 have you stand in the centre of the circle, shall we? No, no, down, down. I think I broke him. Oops. Hello, mortals. I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. Welcome back to Punch Club. I've broke novel. I was trying to get him to stand in the middle of the circle for cinematic reasons for the opening of the episode, and he's he's doing this now. Novel. Novel, why? Who hurt you? Let, let, let's just let's. Right. So health is low. Foods at half. I haven't been to the bar in a while. Well, food is, will be the priority. Because no, there's no point in me having another fight until my health has gone back up. Yeah, you need to go into the food store. Yes, you've said that before, Apu. It's still a good thing that you're not being robbed on a regular basis. Let's try and keep a little bit of cash on us this time. Oh, right. So... Let's hop over to Roy's house. Take the bus, why the hell not? Have a wee natter. Oh, the hearts. Okay, so... In terms of Adrian, I suspect I can only fall in love once I've seen those hearts appear above her head. So, let's test that theory. Adrian, you is a pretty girl. I is happy with you as a thing. Oh good, she's happy too. Yeah, we've, we've read that sentence before. Yeah, yeah, cool. Nice, nice, shut up, go away. Cool, in love, nice. Hey Roy, I'm gonna chat with you for a bit. Um... Hey, you know what, solid, let's go to the bar. Yeah, to the bar we go. Uh, what? Nice day today. So, oh, I've got a bit of regen from it, less energy. Very happy as a result. I'm hungry. Okay. Well, and it took me home as well. Ah. Huh. Oh. I, water I didn't even know I could water my plant. Hooray! There's all sorts of weird little things in here I haven't uh, figured out I'm able to do yet. Um, I thought I might be able to interrupt with a lava lamp for a moment there, but no, no dice. Okay, so health's low, food's pretty low. Have a pizza. Energy's all the way up already, so let's have a mook out of light as well, get some health back. Yeah, that's uh, reasonable. Okay, so. Next fight's in a couple of days. Let's do some training. Because that agility is going right down. I had it up at six a minute ago, and now it's already down to five. So, at the end of the previous episode... I may have made some reference to the fact that this is a uh, the second recording session of the day. Um, first recording session being as time of playing uh, this morning. I play the Talos Principle. Um, so I like to have you know a set uh, a set of uh, records ready to go, just so I can put them together and distribute them out throughout the week, rather than uh, trying to do them one at a time, as uh, I have been doing for. Some of the Talos ones, as the game wasn't playing ball with me. Yeah, we do have for a bit. So, I recorded three sessions. Got to the fourth. Got about 15 minutes into recording it. So I've got a load of audio. Got a load of video. And then the game crashes. And I haven't been able to recover the, uh, the video footage. So I've got 15 minutes worth of me nattering away. And I thought some stuff happened in it. And all of that was just basically useless now. So I haven't got any footage to go with it. So I'm not entirely sure what I can do about that. Because the, the file is about 4 gigabytes big. Which is about the right sort of size for the amount of time I've... Uh, I was playing. But nothing seems to be able to do anything with it. My 
Um, the Bandicam won't play it back for me. The uh, My um, video editor won't do anything with it. It'll look at it and just go, I ain't touching that. So, unless anyone out in there, of you know, the four or five people now who are watching these on a regular basis, um, unless any of you guys have any advice on how I might be able to recover that footage, please let me know. If not, I guess I'm going to have to ask for people's opinion, whether they'd rather I put up the audio as it is and just try and, I don't know, maybe put a couple of amusing images over the top of it. Hello, it's Future Dick here. Just sort of editing the video together and it's not going to happen. I can't redo the, the visuals by hand. Um, well, the visuals I could do, the problem would be the audio. Too much of what happened in those uh, 15 lost minutes um, requires the audio from the game, which obviously is tied into the footage from the game, which is all completely buggered. So, as nice as it would be to just draw a bunch of crap and go, look, I made a thing, the the things I'm reacting to won't make any sense without the context of the game. So, if you're looking forward to that, don't. Or whether they'd rather I just ditch that recording um, and just continue on from wherever I got to and just accept that they've missed a puzzle or two. Or whether they'd rather I go back in the, the save files and just replay a bit. Um, and everyone just accepts that it's something that I've already seen recently so I won't have any new reaction to it per se. Um, so, yeah, opinions, please. I'll, uh, if there's an opinion, I guess I'll toss a coin on whether I'll uh, replay it or not. Because certainly, I think the the most entertaining thing would do to do, rather, would be to make some really cheap, quick doodles and just play the audio and sort of doodle up what was happening at the time um, and play it that way. Uh, it would, however, be the most effort and, by extension, uh, would take the longest to do, which would mean there would be a very uh, notable delay between those two Talos episodes. And I know there are one or two of my viewers, one particularly, <laughs> who is very fond of... Uh, of the Talos Principle as a, as a playthrough. But uh, again, we'll we'll see what people say about it. Let's see, so... Health back to full. Agility's at six. Stamina's at... I think I've got time. Get that stamina back up to five. For my fight. There we are. Okay. Let's have a fight. Dragon Ray. 254. Just looking at the stats, I should be alright on this one. But, uh, as we know, the stats and the random number generator don't necessarily play ball together. So, while they're doing that, let's have a little chat, shall we? So, I think what have I been up to recently? I've uh, been re-watching select episodes of um, Star Trek The Next Generation recently. Might wonder why I'm bringing that up. Why did I bring up My Hero Academia that time? I don't know, it's just what I was doing. But uh, the reason I was watching it was uh, perhaps more interesting than what I was watching. And the reason was, I, I like to keep up to date with Doctor Who, of all things. Um, haven't seen many of the original series, but I've seen everything from the... Um, the, what was he, the Ninth Doctor? I don't know. Christopher Eccleston onwards. I've seen all of that stuff, and I've seen some of the stuff before there, but I'm, I'm not up to date on absolutely every part of it. So, I watched the latest season, and I just found it lacking. Uh, actually, let's have an ultimate fight. What? Roy! What are you doing here? You're going to break me! Oh, this will not end well for Noble. 
Oh well. So yes, the latest season of Doctor Who I just felt was severely lacking compared to the the previous ones of, as I said, the second, the, the sort of reboot, as it were. Um, it just didn't seem to have any depth to the characters. Well, not the characters per se, the the, the storylines. The characters had, you know, some decent nuance to them, I suppose. Wow, I'm doing much better this time, Roy. Are you feeling all right? And I can tell you the exact moment when I realised how how shallow the whole thing felt. And ironically, it was in one of the episodes that got the most praise for being uh, such an accurate portrayal of things. It was the racism episode, where they go back in time and they see um, Rosa Parks not stand up. Oh yeah, we can get some skill points. Let's uh And yeah, overall the episode was very good. Don't get me wrong, overall the season was uh was enjoyable. But there was a scene where the two non white characters are hiding from the incredibly racist um policeman. And they're basically sat in a back alley, and the entire thing just plays out like a um it felt like watching a school production. It's like you had one guy going, Wow, everything's really racist back here. Um, and the other one going, Yes, it was very racist. It's less racist where we come from, but there's still racism. I know there's still racism. If only there was some way people could not be racist anymore. And the whole thing was just, as I said, it was... It was primary school production level of, of theatre. It was... It's just it's nothing to it. And you compare that to what sci-fi can really be capable of. And as I said, that's what brings me back to when I was watching Star Trek The Next Generation. You've got... Good sci-fi has the ability to look at society as it is. And then allow us to see the issues within our society as is from a more outsider's perspective. Oop. There goes the water tank again. Joy. I mean, uh, some of the, um, even things like um, Star Trek Enterprise, which didn't review overly well compared to, to some of them, but was still, you know, it had that opportunity to do things like the, the prime directive of, is it right for us to interfere in less developed uh, worlds? To which the answer is 90% of the time, no, but every now and then, you know, morals override um, the rules, as it were. It's, it's every, every man has the option to protest against the absurd, and sometimes the absurd was to follow the rule as dictated by those above. Let's not get into that, no. Um, what was my point? Oh, my, po my point was that it gives us the ability to go, oh, look at this society that our futuristic spacemen are standing uh, above and looking at, and we can see how they're interacting with things, and it'll take an element of, say, you know, racism, or... What was the one that they did really well in... Um, there was an episode of Star of uh, the Next Generation. I don't think I've got any food, so I'm going to go buy some. Where they came across a race that had no genders as the typical rule, but every now and then a uh, an individual would develop traits of a specific gender. They would start identifying as being more female or male and the societal reaction to that was that that was a problem that needed fixing and they would take them to these special uh, rehabilitation facilities and they would undergo a certain procedure and at the end of that procedure it would remove all traces of uh, gender disparity. And we're seeing that from this perspective, and it's it's such a bizarre thing. Going well, of course they've they've got, you know, the the idea of, of there being no gender is, you know, an alien concept to us. And it was we'd look at that, and it was wrong that they were doing that. That was the whole the whole point of the episode. And it doesn't take much of a leap to realise. Hang on, there are people who uh, who believe that about homosexuality and transgenderism. It's not a big leap. It's not even subtle, but it is so much more to it than, you know, the, the Doctor Who equivalent of that would be, 
Oh, I think they had that, sort of, where they had a, a man giving birth. That was it. It's a man. He's giving birth. Ooh, that's different. Yes, it's different. But it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. Oh, so it wasn't. That's it. That was... That's the level of... of detail, though, the latest... Uh, Doctor Who was getting through. I just skipped through that entire fight just on autopilot. Did I win? I think I won. I was talking about Star Trek. Go search for bin burgers. Nothing here. Good. I'm guessing that this is an alternate way of uh, free food. So now Mick stopped giving us food. If we were in a situation where we completely bugged ourselves, we could come here. Nick a bin burger and not have to worry about it anymore. Can I talk to Tyler? No, let's just test myself again. Yeah, I, I didn't pay any attention to uh, what happened in that fight, so I don't think my money went up. My skill points are about to drop, though. Let me have a check of something. So what do I need to get Do Not Fall Down to? I need to get my skill up to 8. It's about to drop down. I'm wondering if I could cheat the system slightly and take some steroids, boosting my agility up, get Don't Fall Down 2, and preventing losing it all when uh, steroids wear off. I think I'm going to try that, except the day's about to end, and I'm going to drop back down to five. So, I think that is what I will spend the next day doing. I've got money, I'm fine for my stats, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the gym. Uh, I'll take the bus, I want to save myself a little bit of time. Yep, we'll pay the monies, we've got that. And... Let's just focus on our agility, because the day is just about to end, so I want to try and get as much into there as possible before the day ends. So, yeah, so it'll go back up to six sharpish. I'm just going to train this as much as I can. Then I'll go buy the blue potion. That's going to change from big circles to smaller ones soon, isn't it? I'll be in love perk probably was what kept that going for as long as it did. So I'm getting a bit hungry soon. I've got the money. I could just buy some food from here and keep going. I said I want to get that stat up to 8 so I'm ready for the... Uh... That's why I haven't spent, skill my... spent my skill points yet. I want to get that uh, next level up. Get that up to five as well. Okay, he's hungry. Let's just have a snack, shall we? Energy's fine for the moment, so let's just take a protein bar. And we'll get back to the punch bag. I think that was starting to uh, lose its effectiveness. It's not perfect. Do that till my energy drops down. My food, sorry, drops down again. This one. And then hopefully I can end this episode having cheated the system and got my stats back up to eight. Okay, now he's hungry. Let's go to the city map. Sporty goods. Uh, let's go my foot because I have no idea how much the potions cost because I can't remember. 40. Now here's the moment of truth. Is this going to take me up to 80, uh, to level 8. It did! Your agility is magically increased. Magic is a dangerous thing. We know that. However, you're not the only one who can take advantage of magic. Bam. So that then should negate most of the loss I will get from the, uh, the magic wearing off. What's unstoppable, though? Counter it. Oh, okay, so that replaces Backlash. Do I have Backlash? I don't think I have that one. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So it's, it's Backlash up there, but I don't need Backlash to get Unstoppable. Do I? Doesn't seem to be a prerequisite. 
and that would then give me a... It'll give me the option to dodge and damage at the same time. Or is that a... Is that an ability or a perk? I don't know. I don't know, because I, I think it's in a blue square. It being a blue square means that it's a ability I've got to activate. If it was just a just a, a picture like that one, then it's a perk. Okay. So. We did do a big cheat. Hopefully that won't come back too much to haunt me. Um... So, yeah, if any of you guys have got any opinions on Star Trek or Doctor Who or, I don't know, pigeons, leave a comment again. I'm trying to push the, the comment leaving bit because I like reading the comments. It's fun to interact with you guys slightly more, um, slightly more personally, I suppose. Okay, that's enough sentimentality. Be gone with thee. Bye!